everyone, I'm Gustavo Pinheiro, a current PhD candidate at University of Campinas, and I'm here to present my work that is entitled Diffusion MRI and Silver Standard Mask to Improve CNN-Based Talus Fragmentation. The thalamus is a subcortical structure, and changes in these structures are related to diseases such as multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's disease. Since the segmentation is a very important step to study any brain structures, uh, segmenting the thalamus is a mandatory step to study those diseases. The segmentation is usually done using atlas-based method onto one-weighted images. This approach has many advantages, for example, it usually takes hours to process the data and still can lead to poor results in the thalamus region. We can see here in these images, for example, in the thalamus region, that the borders of these specific structures has a very low contrast, making it hard for the algorithms to process this data. In contrast to atlas-based methods, convolutional neural network approaches are dealing simultaneously with processing time and segmentation quality. For example, QuickNet is a CNN approach trained with mask-generated by FreeSurfer is the current state of the art for thalamus segmentation. It is able to process the data in only 20 seconds, while the other methods take hours and still achieve the best results. Another advantage of this kind of approach is that it can handle multiple input channels, which is useful for processing multimodality. Despite being able to achieve much better results, this approach is still limited by the information that the one carries. On the other hand, diffusion MRI, which is a newer MRI technique, can carry much more information about the brain tissues. For example, we can see here in these images that the diffusion maps, fractional anisotropy, mean diffusivity and axial diffusivity are highlighting structures that are very hard to see in T1 images. So, knowing that the quick net is trained using only free surfer masks that are not ideal and uses only T1 weighted images, the purpose of this work is to improve the performance of the CNN based methods on talum segmentation tasks using data from diffusion MRI and silver standard masks. In this project, we used a subset of 109 subjects from the Human Connectome Project dataset, which is a public dataset. Uh, we did process the data to extract the diffusion maps, fractional anisotropy, mean diffusivity, radial diffusivity, and axial diffusivity, and also to register these uh, diffusion maps with the structural data B0 and T1. To compute the silver standard masks, we used three of the most popular segmentation softwares, FreeSurfer, FSL, and Volbrain. And to combine the masks, we used the staple method that statistically combine the masks to create the silver standard mask. And as you can see in the figure, in blue are the segmentations done by each individual method, and in red is the, standard, uh, the silver standard masks. And we can see that the silver standard is smoother and seems to better represent the thalamus structure. In order to make the quick net compatible to the data that we are dealing with, we had to slightly modify the architecture. We added multiple input channels to comport the diffusion maps, and we also modified the output to a single channel since we are segmenting only the thalamus. Using the described method to train the CNN, we have done several experiments. The first two experiments were comparing the segmentation quality when trained with only free surfer masks and also using the silver standard. Other experiments were comparing different combinations of input data in the CNN. The first was using only T1 as a baseline, and the others were combined diffusion maps. To evaluate the segmentation, we used the DICE metrics, that is a similarity measurement between the CNN prediction and the ground truth. The DICE is better when closer to 1. Uh, we can see in the table that the silver standard masks are always better than masks from the surfer. And we can also see that the best achieved results come from the models that were trained using the, only the diffusion data. So, the quantitative results confirmed the hypothesis that the diffusion data is able to better represent the thalamus when compared to T1. In fact, the borders of the thalamus are nearly invisible on T1, but they are easily seen from each diffusion map. For example, the internal capsule 
that the structure next to Talons is very easily seen in FA map and could help to find the lateral borders of the Talons. In conclusion, we saw that the fusion indices are better representatives of the Talons when compared to other MRI maps, and the silver standard brought a considerable improvement in the Talons segmentation. Even though we used a much smaller data set when compared to QuickNet, we achieved a comparable to results. It shows that the advantage of using the diffusion maps. And for future work, we intend to fine-tune the models using manual annotated data to further improve the segmentation quality of the talons. I'd like to thank you all for the attention, and please feel free to reach me uh, using this email below. Thank you.